What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. Now, we're getting more and more details about that Famiso interview. It's a Japanese magazine that did an interview with, I believe, the president of the Pokemon company. I could be wrong. I'm going to have the picture of his face right here. He did an interview with the magazine Famitsu and basically a lot of information has been coming out from a couple of people from Joe Merrick on the Cerebi side. He's putting together his thoughts and translations of what's going on as well as another Spanish Pokemon website that also is posting stuff so we got a lot of information coming from a lot of places I'm currently getting my information from Parisa era where people are kind of putting those informations together and kind of highlighting what we're getting out of it the reason why I'm doing this video is just because of one of the main topics that is coming out of the information that has been translated and that is why Pokemon let's go Pikachu doesn't have wild battles and why did they change the mechanics to Pokemon go and the main reason why Pokemon let's go Pikachu and Pokemon let's go Eevee doesn't have wild battles is to make it similar to Pokemon go however that is not the only reason Masuda thinks that the classic catching mechanics may be too difficult for some players so they wanted to simplify the captures by including the Pokemon go mechanics oh my my fucking god are you serious are you serious are you serious they said that the catching mechanics in pokemon games of the past like pokemon ultra sun ultra moon sun moon xy shit that we've been doing since red and blue was too difficult for some players are you kidding me throwing a quick ball is similar if not the same thing you would do in Pokemon Go. Once the Pokemon pops up on the screen, throw a quick ball and you catch the motherfucker. How difficult is that? What? Too difficult? They say that some players found it difficult. Let me know in the comment section below if you are one of those players. I understand the idea of trying to integrate Pokemon Go into the main RPG games, the mainline games. It makes sense. Pokemon Go, making a million dollars a day. Why not? Let's get the money. Let's rank it in. Let's integrate it. What what I don't understand is that, yeah, if you were going to make the catching mechanics just like Go, which again, it's a no brainer, especially on a touchscreen system like the Nintendo Switch. Why not just have that and also leave the fucking system you already have that you've been building for years? I don't see the idea of throwing away that system that's been working for years. I do see the idea of them trying to innovate and trying to move the series forward, which I do like and I do understand, especially with this idea of integrating Pokemon. Pokemon Go into the mainline RPG games. I do think there's a place for Pokemon Go and these mainline RPG games to live together. And I do think these Let's Go games is a great compromise. It's a great way to meet Pokemon Go halfway with the Pokemon RPG games. I just don't understand why would we lose random battle encounters? I don't understand why would we have to just throw Pokeballs at Pokemon we want to catch instead of just throwing a Pokemon or giving us the option. Why not when you encounter a Pokemon, your first reaction is to throw a Pokeball, but you can also throw out one of your Pokemon and attack that Pokemon, weaken it so it can't run away or whatever the case may be. Put it in a state where it can be easily captured by putting it to sleep or confusing it, whatever the fuck. I, I don't see how that is too difficult for some players. It just, oh my God, to me, this is, this is getting really, really crazy as far as press wise with the pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee it's already sitting in this muddy water that people are like uh it's like the stepchild of the mainline rpg games but to be honest the pokemon company already announced these were mainline rpg games so you got to take it and put them up there just like with omega ruby and Alpha sapphire that's where i put them at as far as them being in between games and remakes because they technically are remakes at the same time they're a new take of what remakes maybe become on the nintendo switch which i'm all right with but i do think they're going to continue let's go and not make remakes no more i think our remakes game quote unquote has become the let's go games moving on in the future which kind of sucks thinking about it but that's another topic for another video but i 
let me know your thoughts on catching mechanics being too difficult because you, you guys kept it that way for 20 years and it's because it was so simple that people enjoyed it that people got their living decks i know kids who understand they bump into a pokemon they know oh go to the bag throw a pokeball it's like they don't even attack when some pokemon get when they enter in some battles they like no quick ball or you know if they do attack they understand that they can knock out the opponent they could put the pokemon to sleep hell i know my nephew has a marowak that he's like oh this is my four swiper that i have to hit them with this in order to catch him i'm like yo like the fact that you understand that is dope and this dude is 10 so i'm like yo like don't come to me with that bullshit that it may be difficult for some players but hey if it's difficult for you let me know like i said in the comment section below like always guys i'm daddy i'm a fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one